So if you're like me, you love playing Guild Wars 2, but you had to spend quite a lot of time learning some of the tricks, the tips, the shortcuts that weren't necessarily apparent when you're first playing the game. And that's where I come in. I'm gonna show you all the things that I wish I knew when I first started playing Guild Wars 2. Here we go. First and foremost, right out the gate, the probably the most important thing that you could know if you take anything away from this video is that you can trial every single class and specialization that your account has active to it every single one. And you don't have to go all the way to max level. You don't have to do that grind. You can see what the class looks like, what the profession plays like, the elite specializations, and make a decision if that's the class that you want to play. So you create a character and you finish the initial tutorial. As soon as you hit level two, you'll gain access to this tab right here, which is the PVP tab. You press this button that says enter the heart of the mists. When you enter the Heart of the Mist, you are automatically boosted to max level and you have access to every single skill and specialization that that profession has. This means you can mess around with different builds, you can see what different weapon styles look like, you can find out if that's the profession that you really want to commit with. Now this is important too because the profession that you are playing the game through, the profession that you're playing Guild Wars 2 with, is in a sense a lens of which you are viewing this game. And you're going to have a far better time playing the game if you play a class that you like. And more importantly, this means that you don't have to max level everything and then go through the arduous journey of getting all the hero points for each specialization to find out if that's the one that you want to play. Just enter the heart of the mists and mess around with the builds. See if it's what you like. This is probably the most important thing that I would recommend for any new player is just trial the classes, trial what you have, and see if that's something that you're gonna like. The second one you probably already know, but I still feel like it's important because there might be someone out there who doesn't, but this button right here is your saving grace. This button right here is an absolute godsend. It literally improves every single person's OCD mentality. Honestly, 100%. And that button is the deposit crafting materials button. It's in your inventory bag. You press I, you can find that button, you press it. It takes all the crafting material that is in your bag and somehow magically puts it into your bank. We're not quite sure on the process, but it does it anyway, and it's pretty awesome. This saves you so much time because now you don't have to go back to a town or a city that has a bank, deposit all of your materials, and then come all the way back. You just press the button, boof, it's all gone. Now this becomes even more important when you are talking about salvaging items or harvesting materials like nodes of iron or logging trees or harvesting plants, all these different things. You just press a button, poof, it's gone, it's out of your inventory and it's in your bank and you kept it. This is this button literally saves lives. And if you are new to the game, more likely than not, you have very limited bag space. So this this just this is a lifesaver. Absolutely. The next thing that I would say I wish I knew sooner here in Guild Wars 2 is kind of brought on the perception of other MMOs and the way that they have impacted my view of Guild Wars 2 before actually getting involved in Guild Wars 2. Specifically the gear treadmill. The feared gear treadmill everyone hates having to get all these different pieces of gear and work really hard for that slight 1% increase that's going to help you push the next boss and get the kill. You don't have to worry about that here. And I lead this to say is I wish I knew sooner here in Guild Wars 2 that exotic gear, which is the tier right below legendary and ascended, exotic gear is about 95% of the damage, we'll say stat value, those top tier items, and you don't have to work as hard. For that. I promise you nobody in any world v world group, in any strike mission group, or maybe raid, we'll see how that goes, is really going to care about if you have exotic versus ascended. Now I will make a note that fractals, which are the kind of like instanced dungeons that get scalably more difficult, they do rely heavily on at least ascended gear. There is kind of a drop off for that one. And the other reason being that is because of agony, because agony is this compounding factor that deals more damage if you don't have resistance. And the only way to fight it is by having ascended gear that you could slot agony resistance in. That is the only note. Everything else, every other piece of content, it doesn't really matter. As if you have exotic, you are good to go. You are in the sense of top tier raider ready to attack. When I first hit max level, I spent so much time worrying about getting ascended and legendary gear that I didn't even bother to think about exotic gear. I could have just gotten the exotic gear and called it a day. 
I didn't realize that. <laughs> and for those of you who may be new, Ascended and Legendary share the same exact stat value. The only real difference is that Ascended, when you choose that particular gear stat, it stays that way permanently. That's how it will be. You can change it in the Mystic Forge, but it's kind of expensive and annoying. Legendary gear is the exact same stat level. It, it does the same thing, except it is interchangeable. And essentially you can take all the add-ons that you put into it, including sigils, including runes, uh, any infusion pieces, they all get saved. Those, that's the major difference. Real quick, down in the comment section below, tell me what is something that you wish you knew sooner about Guild Wars 2? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm curious to hear. If I've gone through all of these thus far and you kind of already knew this and you're a new player, uh, I, like I'm sorry for wasting your time, but this this is this is definitely something that you didn't know and this is something i wish i knew early which was the wiki the guild wars 2 wikipedia it's just called the wiki you can literally press slash wiki and get this entire plethora of information that you can see and you can read and you can understand everything about the game you can learn about skills you can learn about quests you could learn about renowned hearts. You could learn about all these different things just by typing that and it's in the game. It's right there. You just boop, 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 slash wiki. There you go. So cool. It, it is honestly worth a deep dive. I can't tell you how many times I have. I think I have to save it to my desktop. I could press that real quick. It is so useful. Highly, highly recommend just slash wiki. Next is probably a little bit more personal, but this is something that I experienced with Guild Wars 2 is I wish I got into end game content sooner. I put that off for so long and I really wish that I, I knew that I was capable of doing that earlier on. I would have had so many more experiences within the game with other guild members, with other players, if I would have just grouped up and gave it a shot. Now I get Guild Wars 2 has a heavy emphasis on open world, but trying these different group contents and really pushing me outside of my comfort zone to do that was an absolute godsend. I learned more about my character, more about the game, more about how I should be playing just by doing that. And this includes joining World v. World and hopping into a couple of groups. If you've ever been a part of a Zerg and you wipe the enemy team, it's a pretty cool feeling. If you have ever been in a part of any strikes or raids and you got your first kill, which happened on one of my streams, it's a great feeling. I just really wish that I would have spent the time to think about it earlier and not kind of put myself, well, I don't have time to commit to a raid. I don't have time to commit to a strikes. The beautiful thing about the end game content here is essentially pick up and put down when you want. Raids are a little bit more strict. If you're progressing on harder mode strikes or challenge mode strikes, that's a little different too. Usually you want to have the same group and have a cohesive schedule, but for the most part, you can jump in into any of the strike missions and immediately get a group for any of them. Like it's so simple. And I really wish I pushed myself sooner to go ahead and try that. If you've made it this far, almost towards the end of the video, give it a like and subscribe uh, for more caffeinated content or you're doomed to drink decaf for the, the, the rest of this minute moving on lastly and this is the most important thing that i wish i knew sooner when playing guild wars 2 and that is to join the damn community everyone sits there and makes a big play about how great the community is and stuff like that but a lot of them just kind of go about their business and don't bother to engage now i won't say that every member of the community is always friendly and always forgiving but 99 percent of them are wonderful amazing people and honestly if you don't bother to even message them or ask a question or do anything like that you are missing out and and that's something i don't want you to do during your playthrough of guild wars 2. honestly just go and speak to people go and talk to them and, and type slash map and you can talk to every other player that's in this same zone that you are and just ask a question or you know just start up a conversation it is crazy how many good people that i've met since I started doing that like the, the the community has backed me up so many times and so quickly everyone's so damn excited to help out and be a part of whatever I'm doing it's actually like incredibly humbling I mean hell I even got my first legendary piece of gear my first uh, the predator rifle from uh one of my subscribers Nix he just gave it to me there you go that's yours and he was like, hey, thanks for making content. Well, like that blew my mind because that, that is a that represents a huge time and money investment. Just did it out of out of good faith. 
seriously if you just need anything in this game just just ask the community ask the group map chat ask your guild there are so many more people who are willing to help you than you would ever know and that is probably the most important thing that i wish i knew sooner i wish i knew that i could rely on the community so much now if you're still trying to decide on which profession that you want to play check out this video here that's going to show you all nine of the core professions the base professions and what they're good at and what information you need to know to make a good decision. Stay caffeinated, folks.